Hi, it's Carl here at Beck Evans. Just a quick video, just to show you around the 435D uh, convertible that we've uh, obviously had quite a few conversations back and forth over the last week. Good news is it's back from the uh, preparation, back from the MOT, back from the body shop for me to have it for 24 hours before it then comes back out to you. So things got pretty tight, but I think we're there. So good news is, if you just look at the front bumper there, and I brought it underneath the light, because a good thing with this light is it'll show every little imperfection on the vehicle. So um, I want to be as honest as I can with you. So um, don't get me wrong, you might miss the odd stone chip here, the odd little light scratch here and there, but this will give you a good understanding of the car. So there's a couple of very small little light scratches here that unfortunately we couldn't just quite unpolish. Um, one right underneath here as well, which again, just unfortunately, there's nothing really that we could have done with it. Um, very light little scratch here. But the alloy wheels in really good condition. Okay, looking down the panel, no pin dents. Mirror caps all in good condition. This is just where the water's built up in the wing mirror when they washed it, and it's obviously just come out, so that'll be re wiped down. Um, so there we go, doors in really good condition. Rear quarter in really good condition. Now, this here, there was a, a deep scratch here. It was probably a little bit larger than that, and it went through the paint, so that's where they've re. Um, Resprayed the vehicle, taking it back down to the bare metal and repainted it. As you can see, you wouldn't even know that it's been done. So it's a really good job they've done there. No scuffs on the rear corner. Alloy wheel again in really good condition. As mentioned, I believe they've done some tyres on this car as well. Um, and then on the rear bumper, you can see no scuffs, no dents, no dings. Really good finish here. So there we go, all in good condition. Okay, you've got your spare batteries under there. Sorry, not your spare batteries, your batteries. BMW are there, renowned for having their batteries in the rear. And you've got your towing eye there. Naturally, the car comes on run flat tyres. And that's now folded so that when you Bring the roof down. I'll uh, stop any stop, stop the roof from damaging all your shopping and things. So under trays all down, ready for you to have the roof down. Hopefully the weather's a bit nicer this weekend, so you're able to do that. Alloy wheel here, really good condition. Just looking down the panel again, a bit harder for you to see, even if there was on a camera. But I'm I'm checking for you now. There's definitely no door dings um, on these panels at all. <laughs> And on this alloy wheel as well so as you can see there was one or two little small things that unfortunately we just can't do before you know it you're respraying a whole car for a couple of stone chips and things just move that there driver side uh, passenger side seat really good condition um air scarf there lovely when you got the roof down um, so that's controlled by this here. Now there is a couple of marks, like I said to you, it, it really sort of, I find them on this brushed aluminium finish, really common. So there's a couple of little marks there, probably a little bit of a bigger mark there. Um, it's not too bad. It, obviously I'm pointing them out for you. I am being hypercritical, because I want to be. So you do have a few indents on the rear seats. I can only imagine it's where they've had the rear wind deflector on. Obviously they then slot onto those two bits there. That's all fine, just to show the roof as well.
apologise in advance if the lights are flickering in this camera. They're not here, but I normally find when I do a video, they do just the way that the camera is. Again, if I was to be hypercritical, um, driver's side seat, I see it all the time on a 4 Series. If it isn't, it's only because it's been redone. This is just a couple of little marks here on this driver's, um, driver's side seat. It's really, really common. You can see underneath there, there's no wear where the accelerator is. Steering wheel's all in really good condition. A couple of little small wear marks here on the brush aluminium finish. Passenger side isn't as bad. Um, but yeah, driver's side, there's a, a couple of little wear marks here. I think my 4 Series was only 18 months old and I had the same thing because... I had the brush aluminium finish as well. You can change it from the manufacturer. You can have a gloss black, which is probably a better option in terms of the long, long lasting longevity of the vehicle. But the brush aluminium does look a lot better, in my opinion. Um, so there you go. Hopefully that's been helpful. Oh, I'll just do the, just so you can see, there's no cracks, no chips, just a bit of dirt. There's no major chips or anything. You'll probably see, again, one or two little small marks on the windscreen. 11, nearly 12 year old car. Sorry, seven year old car. I think it's not too bad. I think it's well. So let me know your thoughts, any issues. Give me a call. But I look forward to getting this to you tomorrow morning. Take care, bye bye.